now we'll see how to use our Ceph cluster as an object storage and also how to use it for our existing OpenStack installation. So first we'll look at the object storage. So under object storage we have two options. One is the Redos Gateway and User Management. Under Redos Gateway, it will show you the list of gateways that we have created. Currently we don't have any gateway. So we start by creating a new gateway. We can select any one of the node which will act as our Redos gateway or as an endpoint for our S3 or Swift APIs. We can also have multiple Redos gateway for load balancing and fault tolerance. So node 1 acts as our Redos gateway and is listening on TCP port 7480. We can use any Swift or S3 compliant compatible clients to connect to this endpoint. So to use object storage we need to have some users, access keys and secret keys. So under object storage, user management, we have options to create a new user. These users will be compatible with S3 as well as Swift. You can start by creating a new user the user ID, display name, it will display the access key, secret keys and also the swift user and swift secret key. So we have a user named as Swapnil and the keys are listed here. You can also set a quota for a user. By default, quota is disabled. You click on edit quota. Set the quota as let's say 10 GB. And the user quota is set to 10 GB. You can also disable the quota just by making it to 0. Now, we can use this S3 access key and secret key with any AWS S3 compatible client to connect to our object storage or if you have a Swift compatible client you can use the Swift user ID and the Swift secret key to connect. So we have a demo client. So we will be using expand drive to connect to our object storage gateway. So you can use expand drive to connect to a lot of different kinds of storage. So we will be connecting it using the Swift protocol. Okay. So the authentication server, username, API keys. So all this information is available when you create a user. Our authentication server is our Redos gateway. It is 192.168.1.201. Username is And the key. We have our gateway running on 7480 on HTTP protocol. Let's name it as Mars 200 and save. Click the play button to connect. It's connected and the volume is mounted under volumes mass 200. You can copy files to your storage and it gets uploaded to your object storage. It's uploaded to your object storage gateway. You can create folders, create files and use your object storage by any compatible S3 and Swift compatible clients. Now we'll see how to use this 
self cluster for your open stack installation as a backend storage for different components so under open stack you have option to create a backend pools and authentication keys self can be used for different components of open stack like cinder glance and nova as a backend storage so cinder is used for providing block storage to your OpenStack instances, Glance is the image registry and Nova is the compute engine where your virtual machines or instances are running. So you can use your existing Ceph cluster as a backend storage for all these three components. So there's a lot of configuration needed at the Ceph storage and you need to create pools, you need to create CephX users and authentication keys. So this single button will do everything for you. So just navigate to OpenStack and click on create backend pools and authentication keys. So it created a pool named as glance, created a user client glance and the key also same for cinder and nova. And now these three pools, CephX users and keys are available. So it can be easily configured in your existing OpenStack storage.